Doug and Corey, thanks very much. We welcome those of you who just watched Duke beat Oregon State. We welcome you inside the State Farm Fieldhouse. For yeah, watch the quick ball screens like this, getting those bigger bodies off of uh, Sherfield. Here is Godwin, transfer from Watford. Program like the Oklahoma Sooners, but give him credit, Coach Lovey. Sooners on an 11-2 run. Gary trying to stem the tide a bit and does so there with a three-point shot. Breidenbach. Sooners thought there was a travel. Godwin swats it away, but here's Gary with it. He goes up with that right hand and scores. Look right now. They, they've come out strong as advertised. Turned over, and here comes Jalen Hill the other way for the stuff in transition for OU. Not the way they're playing. Skip. This is Bijan Cortez, sophomore, launches and scores. This is something new with the Nebraska offense. They got multiple handlers and multiple guys to initiate it. This guy's one of them. Wow. Andamel transfer from SMU just ran right past Jacob Groves. Here's Tanner Groves. He's in a crowd, takes one dribble, goes to the left hand. Brian Bach has two fouls for the Huskers. Cortez stopped the dribble underneath him, quickly scores. Great pass. He's been a shot maker and a ball moving. Jacob Grove shooting over the double and banks it in. He's showing you that tonight. And Griso took an unattended shot from Hill. He's slow getting back at the other side. And Jacob Grove from in tight. Griso the rebound for the Huskers. Griso pulls up, blocked by Tanner Grove. Griso gets it back. Creed offense for the team. The switching by Oklahoma defense is creating turnovers like this. Griso's trying to get back in time, and Hill beats him to the rim. Second time in this first half that Jalen Hill has had a breakaway dunk. They're making the, they're making the Cornhuskers one-dimensional. Difficult shot here. Great Bandumel, shot. Bandumel, Emmanuel Bandumel. C.J. Nolan in the lane. Couldn't finish it, but there's Tanner Groves with an and one opportunity. Tipped by Kata, goes to the sideline, saves it. Wiltshire in the lane, up and scores. Bit of a frantic possession there for Nebraska, but they find points. True freshman has checked in for the Sooners as a result number three. First action for him tonight. Freshman out of Blair Academy. Great pass. 7 0 run here for Nebraska. We're down 13. Sherfield trying to answer, but the big man Kata swats it away. Look at the adjustments, not fouling. Nolan has Sherfield with him. Sherfield peels into the lane, gives it up nicely, and it's laid in by Jacob Groves. Great defense getting through the slip and ghost ball screen. Got Will Late in the shot clock, gets under eight. Tif difficult to go against. You're not used to it. Those brothers teamed up on Gary and trying to pass out of that double. He turns it over. They're not going to they're, they're help with it because, again, they got big physical guards. So they can, you know, it's not an overwhelming mismatch. He has height, but not size. It's not Gary's strong suit, so no. Nolan saw the opportunity to help off. Nolan in the lane, and the sophomore drives aggressively to the rim to lay it in. Sherfield's got to get aggressive. Takes it towards the baseline, and then his pass for the cutting hill is deflected, and a steal for the Huskers. Vandemel wants to feed Kata. He does. He's going to body up on Groves, bangs him down in the lane, and shoots with that right hand and scores. And his first bucket of the night, just a second field goal attempt. They usually don't go to him early. And there's the hands of Wiltshire creating that steal. Outlet. Here's again! This zone is really giving Oklahoma trouble. They're standing around, passing the ball in the perimeter. Hill lines up a three and shoots over that zone and scores. Wow. Back up at the double digits for the Sooners, up 11. Tanner Grubbs, quick pass and a block there by Gary. Wiltshire picks it up along the baseline. Miller here, I don't, I don't know if you noticed or not. <laughs> <laughs> Great defense. not going to save him there. That's... It's a moment in the game right now. If you want to... You're open, if you can, as soon as you want to get there's the wheelchair stop. you're looking for right Wilcher's there. has got to get going. Now you got to throw the ball inside, or you got to drive and hit a gap. Cortez 
Takes Tominaga down deep. <laughs> kisses it in. You want to get your best, a better player in there, one of your better scores in the elbow area when you free throw line area when you pass it to him. Again, the shot clock winding down, and with three on the shot clock, Sherfield does what he does so well. Now they come back defensively. They've been back, they've been in this zone, and Oklahoma's getting good shots out of it. They're figuring it out. Jalen Hill gets that to roll around and in. Wilcher. We do have a flop on Tanner Groves that's been called by Doug Sermons. I want to call it where a guy just completely flops. I'm okay with it, but if I have to lose a point with that, because you can very well have called an offensive flop. Well, Tanner's been playing well. He just needs to stay out of foul trouble. Tommy Naga. Used to thinking of him as shooting it from long <laughs> range. He, they need him in the game for his offense. He's just a shot maker. Using the freshman. On a half court set when everything breaks down, they're going to attack him. Usain did as a freshman. Kada. Tanner throws a block deflection. Wiltshire here on ESPN. Mississippi State at Ole Miss. Lewis Riddick, Matt Berry, and the crew standing by. Hill drives and scores. Maybe put Tobinog on the perimeter. Brighton Bach. Gets it to go with that left hand. Timeout, Nebraska. Getting to that point in time in the game, too, when Nebraska's going to have to pick up the defense. They can't sit back in this matchup zone and allow time to tick away. Great finish by Tanner. You play, don't mess my percentage up. You shoot that. It's not a bad possession. You're milking the clock there. Tominaga tries to kiss, and it falls through. Can't stand around and watch her through. They give him some space. Tanner Grove, shot clock down at three, patiently waits, puts it up and in. After the interception by Shirtfield, long pass. Laid in by Jacob Grove. So now it's 16 is one off his brother's team high tonight at 17. Big difference tonight is the nine threes. You're two of, you know, you've made two threes all game and they've made nine. Like that's a massive difference in this game. Gary, a two point shot. Wiltshire in a crowd blocked by using. Shot clock expired. Nebraska final nine seconds. Don't forget the Egg Bowl coming up. Mississippi State Ole Miss. Top of the hour. Three point shot from Gary. A little too little too late. And Oklahoma is going to win it by 13. First meeting since 2011 between these programs in men's basketball. And the Sooners went.